Okay, um, Sasha and I are standing on the roof of a building that is now an open occupation in the Mission in San Francisco on July 4th, 2011. And it's just before dusk. Uh, you can see the sun going down over here. And uh, the fireworks are just about to go off. And um, this is Sasha standing here with me. And I, so, Sasha, you're wearing a Detroit Stars cap. And um, it turns out Sasha is, in fact, a Michigander. And so... Uh, I'm a Buckeye. You're a buck. Oh, Toledo, <laughs> Ohio. Ohio. But you spent time in Detroit. I spent uh, just about every night I could in Detroit. Okay, so tell me why you are in this open occupation tonight in San Francisco. Uh, I'm here because uh, there's many places like this. Uh, there's 47 units here that are empty. It's been empty for 20 years. We have uh, buildings with four units, with six units, with 20 units. Uh, all in all, when you add it together, we have uh, 32,000 units in San, in San Francisco that are empty. And places like this, for, for 20 years, 47 people could have had a place to to collect themselves, to find a place where they could uh, find a way to live the life that they that they want to live, that they need to live, to find their their way in life. And it's really difficult when when you live on the streets. It's really uh, it's really hard on your self esteem. You really need uh, self esteem. You need trust in yourself. And it's really difficult when when you're cold and you can't do anything about it. When you're hungry and you can't do anything about it, you have skills and, and uh, you grow up thinking, uh, a lot of people grow up or live their life thinking, I am what I do. I am a writer, I am a, a carpenter, I am an electrician, I am an artist. And if you're the only one that, that takes value in that, in your art, in your craft, then uh, it's it's really hard to trust in yourself, to believe in yourself, and you have to do that to make money, to pay rent, to get a job, and go through the the whole system. And it wears on you after a while. You spend a year, you spend two years on the streets, and and everything that you love about yourself, nobody else loves, and everything that you believe in about yourself nobody believes in people walk by you they barely look at you they won't talk to you and after a while it's it's pretty impossible to to get back to the point where where you can trust yourself believe in yourself and uh, make it in this uh, the system that we live in um you know, while you're talking about this, I'm thinking about Bradley Manning, what it's like to be in prison. But it's outside. I mean, the social isolation. It's just like being inside a prison, I should think. I mean, yeah. just, it just, I, I know. Um, people don't talk to homeless people. Um, and this, and, the, and not being talked to is kind of a crushing social pressure. And I imagine after time goes by, it, even if you have very strong self-esteem, it would cr crush that away. That's kind of what you're saying, I think. Yeah. Yeah, money, money, and uh, money is something different to someone who's homeless. Like uh, when you're when you're working and you have money and you can throw money here for a burrito and throw money here for rent and, or something like that. Money is like a, a number, but when you don't even have enough money to buy some aspirin because you have a headache or, or you can't find a way to take care of some medical problem or you can't get some food, money becomes a very real physical thing and you see it as a different thing then if you're working and you have uh, you're sure that you have money if uh, 
if I know that I'm getting $20 next week, the $20 I have now is easy to spend. But if the $20 I have now may be the last $20, I don't know. I might not get another $20. It's a, it's a different thing. It becomes a concrete thing. And it becomes a very real important uh, thing for you. And so you try to get money. And however you can, beg for money, do some performances, whatever you, you want to do. And, and even that, you don't get enough money. And the money that people give you, they give it to you like this, uh, this charity. Like, uh, like they feel so good about themselves that they give you some money. Here's some money for you, you poor right. little thing. And, right. and Very demeaning. But I'm not, I'm not a poor little thing. I have a lot of fucking skills. I have a lot of things that I can do. And and that is an, is another part of the, the spiral that happens with homelessness. Okay. That's excellent. Thank you, Sasha. You know, okay. wait. Don't, don't go away yet. 